Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the exercises from our basic level course, um, Section 1, Lesson 9, which is all about products and services. Um, in this lesson, there are four practice exercises. Three of them are what I consider critical exercises. You absolutely have to know how to do this for the test. Um, and the fourth one is just for your edification, I consider just so that you kind of know how to do it and know what it's about. But um, in this lesson, this is one of the critical lessons, and we're going to be talking about um, something you absolutely have to know, which is adding a vendor, so or adding a preferred vendor. So if you would like a copy of this exercise or you would like to find out more about our courses, you can visit the links below. Let's go ahead and get started by reading our scenario. So the scenario in this exercise is Craig purchases his cement only from Norton Lumber and Buildings Materials. You would like to add this so that it comes up every time you buy cement and you don't have to enter it every time. Okay, so um, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to log into the sample company. If you don't know how to access the sample company, there's information about that in the links below as well. Um, but I am here already logged in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, get to our products and services list. Now, in the last couple of exercises, I have showed you how to um, you get to the products and services list on the left-hand side. If you go to sales and then products and services, and that's what's in your exercise. But you can also get to products and services from the gear icon right there. You just click gear and select products and services. So I'm just going to click there. And um, the next thing we're going to do, so here we are in our products and services list. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click that new button, which is right here. We don't want the little arrow. We want just the new button itself. And here we have, if you've gone through the last couple of exercises, then you are should be pretty familiar with these. Um, and what we are selecting this time is a non-inventory product. So let me put that up as step four. We're going to select non-inventory. Okay. Step five is um, a little bit more involved. So let's take a look at it from the exercise. Um, it says, uh, complete the product service form as follows. We're going to call it cement. We're going to uncheck this. Um, I sell this to my customers because this is something that we just buy and use for our customers. We don't sell it back to them. Uh, purchasing information, which is basically the description. We're going to call that cement. It's going to be $20. Um, it's going to be expense to our job materials account. That's super important. That's how we link it to the chart of accounts. Um, and then we're going to select our Norton Lumber and Building Supplies. Okay, so let's hop back over to the sample company and plug all of that in. So for name, we're going to put in cement. We're going to leave all of these blank because we'll cover these later in uh, other lessons. Um, I'm going to uncheck this because I don't sell it. I only buy it. That will automatically pull this up. So now I'm going to put cement. This, uh, this description right here, you can always change on a transaction. Um, cost. You can also change on a transaction. I'm going to go ahead and put in 20 because that's what our uh, but what our exercise says to do. But if I left it blank, um, I could always, or even if I put in 20, I could always change it later on the expense transaction. This expense account, again, super important. You have to have this um, linked to the chart of accounts so that you know every time you buy this thing, how do I record that um, in my books? And now I'm going to scroll down to right here where it says preferred vendor. And this is where I'm going to put in um, Norton. Oops, I can get rid of this step here. Uh, this is right here is where I'm going to put in not national eye care, but Norton building lumber and building materials. And then I just click save and close. 
And that is it for our exercise. So if you found this exercise helpful, make sure you give it a like. If you would like to be notified every time that we post a new video, uh, click subscribe and be sure and hit the bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this exercise or our courses, just comment in the links below. And that's it. I will see you next time.